Hello, I am Carol Boston Weatherford, the author of more than 50 books of poetry, biographies, nonfiction, and historical fiction for young people. I'm going to share with you my book, By and By, Charles A. Tindley, The Father of Gospel Music, illustrated by Brian Collier. But first, I'm going to share with you some scripture and some information about the book's subject. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Psalm 98, 4. Before I share the book, I would like to give you some background information about its subject. Charles Tinley was the pastor of Philadelphia's Tinley Temple United Methodist Church. The facility was built in the 1920s to hold 3,200 people, long before the term megachurch even existed. During the slavery era, Charles Albert Tinley was born free in Berlin, Maryland. As a boy, he worked long hours in the fields with no chance for schooling. While working, he heard African-American spirituals that made him yearn to read the gospel for himself. Late at night, using scraps of newspapers, he taught himself to read. This love of learning lifted him from poverty to the pulpit. As the minister of a large Philadelphia church, Tindley served the poor during the Great Depression, wrote dozens of hymns, and became a founding father of American gospel music. This is his story. By and by, Charles Albert Tindley. The Father of Gospel Music by Carol Boston Weatherford and illustrated by Brian Collier. My life is a sermon inside a song. I'll sing it for you. Won't take long. Berlin, Maryland, 1851. Charles and Hester had a son. Father enslaved, but mother free, the law spared me from slavery. A little tyke when mama died, can't remember if I cried. Raised by an aunt, no mama's arms, minding masters, hired out to farms. I think of children with parents at home, while mine are gone and I am alone. Chance in the field at break of dawn. Keep your hand on that plow. Hold on, hold on. Spiritual's first Bible that I heard. I yearned for more, to read the word. Newspaper scraps lit by glowing pine knots. Lines of type absorbed my thoughts. Keep your lamps bright and burning and your vessels filled with oil. Letters and words like tiny seeds bloom to life as I learn to read. Patched work pants and wrinkled shirt, barefoot trekked five miles to church. Beams of heaven as I go through this wilderness below, guide my feet in peaceful ways turn my midnights into days. The church folk were all wearing shoes. My soiled feet hid beneath the pews. The preacher nearly called my name. He asked, who reads? Be not ashamed. He beckoned children down the aisle. My journey seemed 100 miles. I've been buked and I've been scorned. I've been talked about, sure as you're born. My heart raced as I read the book. My palms were wet and my voice shook. But as I read the Bible aloud, I had never felt so proud. And when my verse came to an end, the church folk nodded, said, Amen. I've slippers in the kingdom. Ain't that good news? I vowed to learn one thing each day, trusting God to lead my way. Farmhand by day, student by night, 
miles to trek to read and write. As years went on, the more I yearned for time to quench my thirst to learn. I married Daisy after the war. We moved to Philly, wanting more. Two jobs, long hours to keep us fed. At night, I dreamed of books I'd read. Night school, then God's call to preach. Was the cloth within my reach? Private tutors, courses by mail, tests that others swore I'd fail. Granted knowledge that God bestowed, I passed the test and donned the robe. Rich in spirit but not in pay, our table bare, we pause to pray. Just remember in his word how he feeds the little bird. Knock, knock, neighbor brought a meal, proving miracles are real. Every Sunday, 11 o'clock, I fed a growing hungry flock. I still heard spirituals of long ago, remembered how they moved me so. Hardships woven into hymns I wrote, every lyric, every note. When I do the best I can, and my friends don't understand, thou who knowest all about me, stand by me. Uphill road, then an open door, to pastor where I'd scrubbed the floor. Fleeing harsh discrimination, thousands northbound, great migration, factory jobs, a shop that's fair, a better home, I'm going there. Instead of pay they'd hope to earn, big city blues at every turn. Nation gripped by the Great Depression, hungry masses starved for blessings. With open hearts and open doors, my church fed and clothed the poor. We even offered families loans, helped them purchase their first homes. Folks called me the people's pastor. I aim to serve my Lord and master. We are taught to love each other, and as one should treat a brother, we must do by one another. Over time, my small flock grew, 15,000 in the pews. Children filled the balcony. Their beaming faces lifted me. Mid-sermon, I burst into song my voice encircling the throng. Weeknights, I led praying bands, believers singing, clapping hands. The storm is passing over, hallelujah. We formed a book club to uplift, an orchestra to nurture gifts. I wrote a hymnal, soul echoes, mostly songs that I composed. As if penned by God's own hand, my hymns rang out across the land. Though I began as my own teacher, I was crowned the Prince of Preachers. The church I led now bears my name, my songs an everlasting flame. I know the Lord will make a way, and I'll overcome someday. Amen. Some of Charles Tenley's more popular hymns include A Better Home, I'll Overcome Someday, I'm Going There, Leave It There, Nothing Between, Beams of Heaven As I Go, Stand By Me, The Storm Is Passing Over, We'll Understand It Better By and By, and What Are They Doing in Heaven? Thank you so much for listening. As an author, I mine the past for family stories, fading traditions, and forgotten struggles. I have published more than 50 books, several on religious themes. Find out more on my website, cbweatherford.com.